And I've definitely seen that Mr. E play against Snakes. One of the things that Snake can do is recover high with the Cypher. But Mr. E is also notorious for his juggles. So it's kind of a pick your poison deal. And one of those might be better than the other, but we'll see. We move into this game. Guns are blazing, explosions are firing immediately as we have a pretty much dead even percent between these two players on Smashville. Oh, that was so smart from Bobo. So this is something that happens a lot with players. Uh, when they miss their tech and they get reset, what happens is they start DIing for the hit. They're expecting a forward smash. They're expecting some move. Oh, what a beautiful edge guard for E. Just want to touch on that. And then, so what happens is people DI in towards the stage, and that means they buffer a roll in. So it, I've heard people say it only works once, but it didn't even work once on Bobo. Didn't quite matter that much as we see he, uh, oh, I don't think he was quite expecting the parry right there. He needs to take this stock really quickly. Mr. E gets a single more hit, and we don't know what he might do. That downer, though, beautiful parry on Bobo's part. And now these guys are neck and neck, only 22%. And we know Snake, his hits, his neutral air does, like, what, 22, 23? Yeah, that's what I was talking about before with those high recoveries. But Mr. E, it's so hard to land against him. Oh, he goes for that aggressive forward air, but Mr. E able to scout it out. Bobo hanging on for dear life, 145%. Does he finally make it back down to the ground? He does, but only for an instant. Now he has to recover to the ledge, and oh, Mr. E actually giving him his space. And then Bobo's back on stage. One good conversion could lead to a lot of damage at the very least. Oh, he great DI from Mr. E. And he manages to sneak in that up tilt. That's going to be a stock lead for Mr. E right here. 83%. Definitely not, you know, the end of the world for Bobo. But this is the sort of lead that Mr. E can actually play to. Whoa. Oh. This is that ledge trapping that I was talking about before. Bobo, it, he's, yeah, then he's forced to recover high. Oh, and Mr. E is ready for it once more. Can he ever get back down to the stage? <gasps> that down or not enough. It does a lot of damage and it can kill, but okay, that was not the case. Great job seeing the new shield breaker. Goes for the dash attack, and now Bobo has brought Mr. E to his last stock here. 36% immediately. Okay, those grenades working out very well for Bobo. Mr. E not getting any huge strings off of anything. Oh my god! I think that was probably a misinput. Back here going to take it. Yeah, and Bobo was one of those kind of players where if he starts misinputting, it can affect his mentality. Granted, he's been performing so well, especially up on the Westchester scene, that. And I mean, even tonight, he's been playing out of his mind. As we're seeing, he's so close to Mr. E. And oh, I am Papa Rick. Just reset for 38 months. Let's go. Yeah, let's go, Bobo. The Westchester boys in the chat going to show the love. It's very uh, not very often that Westchester comes down to the city. And maybe they should because look at how they're faring right now. Man, Westchester used to be so free. I I'm from Westchester. I can say that. We used to be, like, the freest. But... Bobo keeping it even with Mr. E. But there's a big difference between keeping it even and actually managing to take the set. This is game two of three. Bobo can't afford to lose any more games if he wants to stay alive here at Xeno 203. <gasps> okay, I like that coverage. 91%. <gasps> Bobo looking like a very different this time around. That is one thing we hadn't really seen before, the up tilt. One of the most notorious moves in Snake's arsenal. It's so fast. It's so deadly. But last game, I don't think he landed a single up tilt. Most of his stocks were from, like, down airs or dash attacks off the stage. Or at the ledge, rather. <gasps> That's huge. I don't think he has a jump. Yeah, and with no jump means no air dodge means a dead Mr. E. Bobo looking really good right now. I was wondering whether he would be able to get some momentum after that kind of rough loss in game one, but... Look at this, 31% already and climbing, but you know you cannot count out Mr. E. He's been in the scene for so long. He had the, the sort of... Oh, what a tech! 
Rumble looking so good this game. Oh, that C4 almost connecting, but not quite the timing Bobo needed. Mr. E right now kind of slowing down the pace of the match, trying to stay much more stationary, sedentary, not trying to just move around and get hit randomly. Oh, doesn't pay attention that C4 comes down and uh, there will put him in the ground. This is three stocks to one, finally taking it, but this is Bobo's game to lose right now, especially as a snake, especially with his ability to wall out and do damage. Mr. E's sort of the only way he's going to win this game at this point is with a really big edge guard, and that might be the case here. <gasps> he's going to have to see for himself. He should be able to make it back to the stage, but that's a lot of damage already, and even more so, 121. You can see the expression on Bobo. It felt like he had it in the bag, and just like that, a beautiful stock, a beautiful edge guard from Mr. E is just... Oh. So even at the hole! Oh, fully charged forward smash. I think that's going to do it. Yeah, more than enough. What a way to end that game, too. Bobo looking really good moving into game three. Wow. All right. I'm pretty sure this is the for this Bobo has ever made it at a Xeno by a significant oh, margin. And I, I this is... I don't know if he's ever played against Mr. E, and I do not think he has a win against him. And yeah, Mr. E kind of thinking about it. Look at the way, you know, he's one of those players that's very expressive. And so uh, you can see he's pondering. He's a little bit worried. Bobo has shown that he has more than enough potential to take this set. All right. I missed what stage we're going to have here. It's going to be Smashville once again. Okay, Mr. E actually immediately coming out with the aggression. Just that short hop forward air. Okay, I really like this approach from Mr. E. He's like, all right, this guy is going to have a lot of momentum going into game three. So let me cut that momentum short. Oh, but he was holding the grenade, so he couldn't get a uh, proper follow-up off of that down, the down air. Thing is looking a little bit grim for Bobo. 115% and only 57 for Mr. E, but oh, Mr. E willingly putting himself on ledge. I like the idea of the aggression, but there are risks to the aggression itself. He's gonna go the other way. Yeah, wow, beautiful recovery from Bobo. And us, just the timing, the recognition from Mr. E, that's huge for him. All right, C4 is on the middle platform right there. Yeah, Bobo gonna detonate it, probably trying to, uh, Oh, that's a, that is something that Bobo really likes to do, is he'll do the down throw and then just jump. It'll dodge get up attack, it will often cover a lot of options. Oh, but Bobo needs to be taking this stock immediately. 129% on Mr. E. Oh, that latest hit of the back air. I don't think he has a jump, but Lucina still able to make it back. Mr. E looking ever so comfortable here. I, okay, Cypher. We're going for another one of those. Oh, that should be it. Yep, run up forward tilt. All right, Bobo keeping himself in it right now. 114 damage is quite a lot, but we've seen the, uh, just the damage output that Snake has. And honestly, Bobo has had quite... I've seen him have crazy clutch factor in the past. He needs to survive, though. That's the name of the game. Up he had a shield from Mr. E, sending him way out there. I don't know how many much more of those he can take. Dash attacking. He misses a tech. That's really big. The up tilt not killing even still. C4 is there on the right side. Mr. E recognizing that. Oh, could this be huge? All right, he doesn't get the biggest punish, but a punish is a punish. Here, Bobo, you're just trying to look for extra damage at this point. Wow, great job there. Just as Bobo was starting to set up his grenade wall, just goes right through and gets that pivot F tilt. Oh, Bobo is getting these parries, but not quite getting the punishes I think he wants off of them. 
And against a player like Mr. E, your punish game has to be beyond on point. Oh, and right as I say that, we're in the last stock. These two players are absolutely murdering each other. 63%, he has a grenade in hand. Mr. E at the ledge. Great aggressive option with that neutral air. I can hear the crowd coming alive all the way from in here. People don't know how things are going to go. A C4, that's big. My heart is in my chest right now. A big F tilt. He throws the grenade. This might be it. The edge guard. Will this do it? I don't know if he has a jump. He should be able to make it back to the ledge, though. <gasps> he jumps into it. Bobo takes the set. And there you have it. That clutch factor coming through. Bobo not only making a crazy loser's run, taking out Utopian Ray, but now Mr. E falls as well. He is in loser's finals, where now he has to go off against Jen.